Howdy folks, it's Comrade Internet, back again with, uh, Game Dev Tycoon, and, uh, yeah, Back Alley Brick Fight has, uh, clearly been doing pretty good, so let's just start things off with, uh, figuring out a game report for that one. Oh, look at that. The NES has been a massive success. So, uh... Oh, people enjoy, presumably, uh... Video games about beating people with bricks. Good for them! Mm. Apparently... Uh, uh, apparently, artificial intelligence is, imp is integral to brick-related violence. Well, simulations thereof. Uh, is there anything else that we need to research? No? Okay, we can uh, just get straight to work on developing a the beginnings of an engine. Need to figure out, and, but of course, naming the thing is always a pain. Mm. Need to think on this one for a moment. Like, what kind of naming convention should I go with? Something building related? Critter related? I mean, it's pretty basic. Uh, you know what? We'll call this the Bones Engine. Oh boy. Now well, it's... Well, it's at least taken away quickly. Oh shit, the uh, video game's still but I have to do. Hot damn, almost a quarter million in sales. Most of that, of course, having been sunk into, uh, into engine development, but whatever. Um, just allow us to make shinier games in the uh, future. Like right now.
Hmm. I mean, while I never played the NES version of Pool of Radiance, I do remember that being a really fucking fun ROM. There. It's a game about it's a game about a dragon's horde, but it's from the point of view of the dragon. Not Sega. This is good. I'm I'm happy with this. Expect that to be as much of a hit, but uh, alright. Not complaining. Prison. It's called Shiv Champion. Can you guess what it's about? No, no, it doesn't need a story.
Oh, fucking awesome! 50,000 units of the thing having sold. That's nice. Yeah, really glad we got mono sound in, uh, in the bones engine, because, uh, I, I mean, like, it did have, uh, like, nicer grunting sounds, I guess. That's what players will have looked forward in Shiv Champion. about to go into year, uh, year four. Could have done a little better in sales, but yeah, it's not too bad.
justify a, like, I could make a construction game, but I don't feel like I have the technology to make it really worthwhile. Sure, something sure, something that something that would basically be marketed to yuppies who have like nothing better like Yeah. Yeah, it's something of vaguely psychedelic imagery and pseudo-philosophical walls of text. Like, bad MIDI music in the background. Uh, what does it, what do we call Yeah, sure, we'll give an interview. Uh, it's a game about getting money from the uppies. That's what we're making. Ah, oh, fuck. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, that... Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that... That did not go as planned. <laughs> oh, hey, look at our uh, cash reserves. Oh, we're at least going up. Some sort of huge frame, but it's kind of fucked up. But the, com uh, the company that owns the crane, they don't give a fuck. They, uh, workplace safety? What's that?
Existential Crisis Manager is our first game to not sell 10,000 units or more. F. Come on. Come on, get rid of those bugs. Oh, sure, now I get the, like, the prerequisites for what would be, like, ideal for a single city club. this would be good, though. Okay, so it didn't... It's not a shit show like its predecessor. That's nice. here for now. I will catch you all later. Be safe, be well, and have a good one.